Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak Chopra. Brought to you today from Nasdaq's OMX market site in New York City. And my very special guest is Egyptian American filmmaker Jahan Nujem. Right? Pronounce it correctly? Perfect. So, um, lots been happening in Egypt, but let's go back a little bit into your background. You were born in Egypt or in the United States? I, I was born in the U.S., but mm -hmm. left very as a baby and I grew see. up in the Middle East in Kuwait and then in Egypt and then came here for college and stayed. So you didn't come back till college. You grew up speaking Arabic? I grew up speaking Arabic um, and English because my mother is American. I so see. I'm a... I'm a mutt. Mm -hmm. Where did you go to school? Kuwait, uh, you said. I went to kindergarten in Kuwait. And then in, in Egypt, I went to British and American schools. And then came to uh, the U.S. and actually went to boarding school. Where? For a couple of years at a place called Milton Academy. Of course. Do you know it? Of course. And, uh, and then to Harvard and then went to New York after that. And what did you been... study at Harvard? I studied uh, social studies with, with philosophy as a concentration and visual and environmental studies. So How did you get into filmmaking? Well, I went to be a doctor. I mean, that was my plan. And I took uh, pre-med and I took Chem 5 and realized there are other people that are definitely more talented and skilled in this area and was taking film classes to sort of escape organic chemistry. Film classes here in New York no, City? No, in, in, at Harvard. Oh, I see. Film and photography classes, and I just fell in love with it. Just fell in love with it, and mm -hmm. decided this is really what I wanted to be doing. How did you get to make your first film? Um, I met some incredible people in New York um, named uh, D.A. Pennebaker and Chris Hegedus, who have made films about Bob Dylan, and they've made, they're the sort of He's considered the grandfather of Cinema Verite. Uh, and I was, I was working on my first film about the dot-com bubble. It was a friendship and business story, yeah. a documentary. And I met them just as I was starting uh, for advice. And they wanted to make a similar a story about a similar issue. And we decided to partner. And that was like partnering with my mentors. It was like partnering with your professors. It was the luckiest thing in the world and I learned so much from them and we made this film called startup.com and that came out I remember actually reading about it never saw it oh yeah yeah I've got it did well it did well it came out in theaters across the US and internationally and uh, that started me off I realized people got very curious about the characters in the film and what happened to them and what was driving them and I felt if I can do this with this story, you know, there's so many stories around the world I want to be able to tell and make people curious about. Your father is Egyptian. Mm -hmm. He lives in Egypt? Yeah, both my parents live in Egypt. Oh, they both live in mm -hmm. Your American mother, mm -hmm. does she speak Arabic? No, she does, she does, she does, does yeah, after 40 years in, in Egypt, yeah. So, I, I did see your film. Uh, the Square? The Square. The Square, I saw it. Very moving, very emotional, very heart-rending. What made you decide to do this film? Okay, a lot of people are still <laughs> confused. What exactly is happening? You know, mm -hmm. you, have, you have a dictator, you have an autocrat. He's in many ways a tyrant. He's displaced. He is, goes to prison, then he's released suddenly. And then, you know, there's an election. You get the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, America miscalculates, as usual. And then you suddenly have the army coming. What's going on? What's the zeitgeist in Egypt right now? Well, the zeitgeist in Egypt is the zeitgeist of our time, you know, where you have young people who are rising up everywhere.